Yeah, I mean, the bridge is out and you didn't plan for that. It doesn't mean you have to drive across the non-existent bridge. It means you have to do something reasonable. But it's not okay to say, well, our ODD is bridges that are there. So when a bridge falls down, it's not our problem. Um, well, now well, the bridge isn't there. If you're on the bridge when it goes down, you probably want to stop. But if the bridge is not there and you see it, it's not okay to just drive right into the Gulf because you're not programmed for it. You know, that's that's going to be an issue, right? Yeah, that would be considered so, negligent. Do, do you, uh, of some sort, I'm not going to, that's a legal thing. That one gets sticky. Um, <laughs> now, do you have to be perfect? No. But you, Maybe I'm in the wrong definition of safety itself, if you're defining safety, you can't ignore the fact that without a human supervisor, these things have to police their own capabilities. And so my definition of safety of meeting constraints does not say in a specified environment, those words are removed on purpose because you actually do have to, you do have to police your environment. That's interesting. I mean, it, it seems like a pretty monumental engineering problem to have to figure out the entire world, but well, it doesn't, hey it's man, you need to you're do. the one who wanted to build <laughs> autonomy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to open, if you want to operate in the open world, guess what? You're you're, you're in the open world stuff. now, and yeah, you, you've put something so out there that can hurt up. other people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you made this choice. You're gonna have to deal with it, right?